Hi, and welcome to the first actual episode of cross patching. Today we're going to look at how to create a bucle style complex oscillator. Now, the complex oscillator has two oscillators. First, the principal oscillator, which is usually just a sine wave, and we're taking the one from Bug Audio. There we go. And then a modulation oscillator that has a couple more different style um, wave shapes. So that's the bug audio, little VCO. There we go. Let's just use a blank to get the separation down a little more. There we go. Beautiful. Now in most other complex oscillators, you have a mod bus and you can modulate different things, which is a little hard in VCV to do without having a gigantic patch. But this is more of an introduction and something for you to play with and to explore and to see how you like it and whether this sound is something for you. So what we do is we take the modulation oscillator output into the FM input. All right, now we got an FM voice. The next step we do is we run our principal oscillator through a wave shaper. And we use the one from Hetrick, because that is also very similar to the one that you can find in the Bukla Music Easel or the 208 or the 208C for that matter. All right. Now, one thing that is very, very characteristic for Buchla complex oscillators, such as the Buchla Music Easel Oscillator, the 259 or the 261E, is the Wave Shaper. Not the Wave Shaper, <laughs> the Wave Folder. There we go. It is also a type of Wave Shaper, but it's a specific one. It's a different one. It folds the wave up onto itself and we can look at that here the scope there we go and if we look at this here this is like our, our little sine wave and then the folder oh, folds it right it's a very specific and very cool sound that I love. Now the next step is we need our low pass gate, our LPG. There we go. And a low pass gate is a combination of a low pass filter and a VCA, right? The difference though is, is that it actually works with Vactrals and Vactrals are interesting. They're light sensors. <laughs> And um, what they do is they actually have a little bit of a delay when the signal is gone. So it rings out a little bit, which is very, very characteristic for the typical Buchla sound. This big knob here is your level. It functions in a way like a mixer knob. So you want to put this all the way down. And this is your CV in knob. You want to put that all the way up. And you can see here you have different options, right? You have both, which is the combination of the VCF and VCA, then just the filter, just the VCA. But we stick with both for now. And here's the speed. This is how fast or how slowly the Vactrals actually react. And I tend to have it on the one exclamation point because it's just, it's just snappier, and I like that. Now for our envelope, envelope, there is one from Nischi that I really like. It's the dual envelope. And this one is actually the same one that is found at the Buchla Music Easel, right? The famous 208 that um, I actually own and I love very much. But here you actually get two for the price of one. So here we have the envelope out that goes into our low pass gate. And the only thing 
that I would still add would be a little reverb, but we are essentially done with our voice. Oh, reverb, there we go. And now we should have a sound. If I click the gate here, we do have a sound. Very nice, okay. Let's give it a little bit of reverb. Oh yeah, okay. So now you might think it doesn't sound very interesting and that is because we literally only have a sine wave going through a low pass gate. So what we need to do is let's give it a little bit of FM, add a little bit of fold and shape that wave a little more. And now we should have something a lot more interesting. And we do, yay. Now to get sort of the most out of it, I want to use a sequencer. And we use the SEC3, the standard one that everyone should own. And, oh yeah, one thing that I need to tell you about, the SEC3 works with voltages from zero to 10. So it is unipolar, right? Those oscillators usually expect a frequency from minus five to plus five, or sometimes even from minus 10 to plus 10, right? Those are the Eurorack standards. Buchla doesn't work that way. Buchla works from zero to plus 10. So we need to set the oscillators all the way down to this lowest note. And now we can add row one to the principal oscillator, row two to the modulation oscillator. Let's reset all of this. You know, row three, why don't we go to the fold amount, right? If we hit Command R, we can randomize our sequencer. And maybe we do that a couple of times, we get actual differences. I, and I activate all those gates down here again. Set the clock to 240 and the steps to eight. Now we connect the gate to our envelope generator and we should hear a little sequence. And there we go. And now we have this first sequence go through our principal oscillator and the second sequence here going through our modulation oscillator. So we should have some really interesting FM stuff happening. Oh yeah. Now the third row we have connected to our folder. Now let's open that one up. Make it maybe a little faster. There you have it. That's your own homemade little DCB Bukla voice. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.